Hey guys, welcome to Craven for Baking. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this amazing, simple buttercream recipe. But first, it would kind of be good if you guys had some cupcakes to make this with. So click here to watch the vanilla cupcake video or any video in my cupcake playlist that you'd want to frost your cupcakes with buttercream frosting. But I find that vanilla cupcakes are really, really good with this buttercream recipe so of course you want to make your cupcakes and here are mine all laid out and we're going to put that into the oven at 180 degrees celsius for about 15 minutes so when i was making these i made about 14 but that really depends on how much you fill your cupcake trays with and it kind of also depends on your oven for how long it's going to cook for. But I find between 15 and 30 minutes works best. So after 15 minutes, you just want to let your cupcakes cool. And of course, you can do the toothpick test to test if they are done. If there's no wet batter on the toothpick, then your cupcakes are done. And these cupcakes really do not have to brown at all to be done. They're going to be kind of a really light golden brown and that's when they will be done they do not have to be any like golden brown shade of color but they will be a really light brown so you want to leave your cupcakes to completely cool so while they're completely cooling we can make our frosting and you're going to need some butter vanilla food coloring and icing sugar and trust me this is not a lot of ingredients so we're going to add our softened unsalted butter into our mixing bowl and it would kind of be good if you added a, um, used a bigger bowl than i did so you wouldn't have to have the struggle that i was having and you're just going to mix your softened butter until it's nice and creamy and a little bit lighter in color so you just want to make sure that it's really nice and fluffy and easy to work with. So it should be around this consistency. Now I'm measuring out my icing sugar now and here. But you can obviously measure out your icing sugar in advance. But you are going to need 180 grams of icing sugar. And you just want to pour that straight into your bowl. And then you can mix that in until it's nice and incorporated. And before I started mixing, I obviously knew that there was going to be a lot of icing sugar ratio to butter. So I added a little bit of milk. And I also added in my vanilla extract. And we're just going to mix that all together until it's nice and creamy. And you'll kind of see it will have this really crumbly, hard to mix kind of texture. But trust me, just keep mixing. It will eventually come together and become a really nice, creamy, smooth buttercream. And that's really what I love about this recipe. You really don't need a lot of ingredients and it seems to come together really well. So you just want to keep mixing that until it gets the right consistency for you. You may like your buttercream a little bit more thicker and stable than other people. So depending on how you like it, just add more or less milk. But of course you don't want it too runny so it runs off of your cupcake. And I like mine at this consistency. So I'm going to leave mine like this. And then I'm going to colour my buttercream. Of course you guys don't have to colour your buttercream. But if you'd like to get this kind of split kind of effect in your cupcakes. Then you can do just as I'm doing. And I'm using three colours. Which is the normal buttercream colour. Blue which is kind of a little bit green. And pink. So I'm going to put my buttercream in, or in the bowl or the piping bag. And then I'm going to squeeze it down to make sure everything is nice and mixed together. And then I'm going to start piping on my cupcakes. So to pipe onto my cupcakes, I'm just going to be going in a simple swirling motion. And it's really easy to pipe cupcakes. Maybe you just need a little bit of time to kind of get the hang of it but it's really easy and you can just have fun with it go about how you like with it and just see what you like eventually you don't really have to follow a certain rule since these are your homemade cupcakes but i like to do it just like a simple swirl so you can start from the center to the edge and slowly gain height that's the type of cupcake swirl i like but of course you can do any swirls that you want 
and kind of jazz it up a little bit. I'm going to do this to almost all of my cupcakes, but since a few people in my family don't really like that really, really sweetness, I kind of left a few bits, a few cupcakes out, so not all of them are frosted, but that totally depends on you and if you want to do them all. But here is my finished cupcakes. I totally love them, don't you guys? They look so cute and they are really, really adorable. That's why I like the split effect, choosing multiple colours. And I think you guys should like try that out if you guys wanted to do that as well. But I really, really love how these cupcakes and buttercream frosting turned out. Of course, please try this recipe and let me know how it goes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!